Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and today, not in the car, not on the porch, today is on the computer. I wanted to go a little bit over uh, the Tesla stock and how it is uh, being, how it is performing and take things in perspective. Uh, as you know, Tesla stock is a very volatile stock and it has tremendous amount of short sellers uh, which really hurt the stock. But if you take a view, a broader view, here is um, what we call a max uh, a graph, meaning from the beginning, in, before 2012, obviously, the, when they start producing cars, we, the IPO was $19.20 to today, which is $245.08. It went up by $6.48, which is 2.72% on the last trading on Friday. So if you look from the beginning, if you put, let's say, $1,000 uh, when it came out, all right, in 2008, and you just waited until today, those those uh, $1,000 are now translated to $12,764, okay? That's how much money you made if you just put the money in and you never looked, okay? So... Even though you see here, obviously it started really slow and then it started going up and down from here to here. This is what you care about. Okay, now I know that it went to almost $688 or some or 80 something dollars a, a, a last year. And in the past five years, you see much more volatility. Look at the last year. You see it went from uh, three, almost 380 to 178 at the beginning of this year. But look at this graph. If you put money here, you are here, okay? If you put money here, then you are here. So you gotta look, if you look at the last uh, month, for example, okay, here it is. If you put money here, even, even before that, uh, it, was, it was lower than that, and then this is where you are now. So you gotta look at really the long term. This is the best graph, the long term. And the question is why, why? Why is the, uh, the why is the stock is up here? So from from the IPO from 2008, I would say until I would say March of 2018, it was all speculative. It was all about the uh, the Tesla Model Three production and delivery, and all this volatility, all this volatility. Look, let's take a look at one of the highest, which is December, where Tesla uh, produced the most cars until this last, uh, um, uh, you know, this last quarter, quarter two. That was, now it's going really about results. And then once January started and we got to April and then uh, to the uh, deliveries of um, the first quarter, which were very low because of the winter, people panicked and sold. Now look what happened when the second quarter uh, results came in. And look how fast it is. So let's look at it this way. This is the second quarter results, okay, in, starting in June. Okay, once July hit, okay, once July hit, boom, look what happened. Look what happened. It's up and down. So you have to see at this. So all of, so, so here I would say this chart represents the speculation, now we got results, and now we got more speculation. Oh, you know, it's uh, not doing as well because of the tax incentive coming down. Now you get more results. And I, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the next six months by the end of this uh, year, 2019. Okay, I wonder what, what's going to happen. I can tell you that you can, you'll be able to see it over here if uh, all the indicators of production and demand and China and all that are going to come to a reality so you gotta look at the long term of this investment you can't just look in snippets and you have to ignore the short sellers and if autopilot uh, continue to improve and get to full autonomy then really the sky is the limit so that's what you have to do you really have to ignore the noise don't take this as advice take this as a perspective and make your own decision but uh, this is how you really, really look. This is where I got in, and this is where it is now. Okay, I wish I got in here. <laughs> but that's another story. Okay, guys, so always, always look at graphs like this that show you a long-term uh, results.
in the long-term journey of a stock, any stock, and specifically this extraordinarily uh, volatile stock. All right? Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.